welcome to All the Backroads. We are in Northwest Indiana camping at Potato Creek State Park and it is about, what, 45 degrees out right now. So we are doing some cold weather camping and we thought that we would share how we make the A-liner cozy and warm um, while still enjoying camping in November and December. We've had our A-liner pop up for about a year now and we've added a few things and made a few changes to make our A-liner more comfortable and easy to travel with. Um, organization in the small space is key and to keeping the A-liner clean. It can get dirty very, very quickly, especially when you're traveling with a dog. The first thing we added was a foam mattress topper for the bed because we knew we wanted to be comfortable while we were sleeping and it is super comfortable we keep the bed out all year round we don't have to mess with um, putting it folding it up into the couch which wasn't super functional anyways for us and it also keeps this area warmer than it would be if we didn't have that on there this was a great find that we got for five dollars at pier one was going out of business it's a display box you can actually wire put electricity up through here so we use it over here um, if we're watching tv in bed we put the ipad up here and um, our sound we've also put it over the it fits nicely over the sink if we're not using the sink and we've kept the coffee pot on it if we want to use the cooktop it's hollow underneath so when we pack up and leave we'll turn it over we put the coffee pot and all of this stuff inside it and then it slides right underneath the bed and all of our stuff is kept in place okay here's gus <laughs> gus go <laughs> get up there <laughs> Since we keep the bed out, we lost two of our storage spaces, which are the little weird countertops that were on the side um, in this area. So um, we installed shelves, which are actually old locker shelves of my son's that uh, were gonna get pitched. So we turned them into shelving for the things that we need access to. Um, we can easily get to everything We keep our shoes up here we put lighting that's just on all the time down there these are our hiking backpacks and um, towels and things so they can go just in here everything's in a bin it's easy to get to easy to put back keeps everything nice and clean and organized another thing that keeps us organized are these great little shelves that are from Ikea. I think they're about $5 a piece, but we found them on Craigslist. Um, someone was selling 12 for $12. So we got them for a dollar a piece. Um, they are awesome for organizing stuff so that it doesn't fall all over. We just put Velcro on the bottom. You can put all your stuff in here and this doesn't move. We have some more over there for our coffee cups. And we still have about six more to use. We don't know where they're gonna go yet. <laughs> Gus, you're being awfully whiny today. So Gus being the star of the show, we had to figure out how to f make it a nice bed area for Gus, who also happens to be a Chicago Bears fan. <laughs> it, it did not take us long for us to realize that we absolutely hate the table that comes with our pop-up. Um, it has a base and a pole and it can fit in. Supposedly you're able to pop it out, but we just popped it out, unscrewed the base, completely pulled that out. I was at a restore and uh, stumbled across these carpet squares that were probably about two dollars a square. They're pretty thick and with them being two dollars a square I think we were able to test out what it would be like to have carpeting 
in the A-liner for 10 bucks. So far, so good. And then if you notice that since we have the carpet, we can put Gus's bed here in his blanket and he feels like he's just at home. One of the advantages of having a pop-up also turns out to be one of the disadvantages when you're doing cold weather camping. When you throw the sides up and the tops up, uh, since you have aluminum parts, you can have spots where it's drafty. Um, also, it's drafty on the sides. There are a few people out there that'll tell you to use swimming pool noodles to put in place to insulate the gaps. We went to our local hardware store to find materials that are not swimming pool noodles to insulate the gaps of our pop-up. Uh, I chose one, Stephanie chose the other. She chose the black foam that's used to insulate piping and I chose the gray spongy foam used to um, put in window unit air conditioners with your window and it turns out we had to use both of them. From what we can tell it is stopping the drafts. The first night we camped it was 48 the second night we camped, it was 38, and tonight it's supposed to be 28, and we'll be able to tell you how that went. But so far, so good.